I have no regrets. I mean, I should have done more, if anything. Like, shit, this is TV. If you mm. could go back and redo it all again, would you do anything differently? I probably would be smarter this time around because you already know, like, a few of the tricks and stuff. Uh, probably play the victim a little bit more because apparently, like, you know, if you're, like, a poor me helps a lot mm. along the way with the viewers and that, so it would probably be, like, oh, poor me. Yeah, so. I'm the same. <laughs> Especially at the start, when you first, like, start a maps, like, day one on filming, um, are you like produce like say like this Daniel why don't you say why don't you use these words and say it in this way and I'm like okay and I'm like just you just get told and just not that people are telling you how to behave but you're very easily influenced and then you go oh hang on these people don't have my best interests mm. yeah you don't realize that until like filming is over and or, you watch it on yeah. TV and you're like oh yeah. yeah, I didn't mean to say that. I got told to say that. <laughs> yeah, what was the hardest part to watch back on TV? The commitment ceremony, though, because we were just so annoyed that we're like, oh, you know, we like, how did they make us believe that we we would be able to say? Actually, a lot of that because we don't like, we don't get to say what we are feeling and what we wanted to say at that time we were always like the last one to walk in the last couple on the on the couch and you know you're waiting for hours by that point you're already exhausted and then when we watch it back and it's like there's so much that I could and should have said so I think that's probably hard I think the, the last commitment ceremony was one of those moments that I watched I was like oh, I should have said that I should have said this but at the same time even the little you know bits that you do say they kind of it's it doesn't make the show look good or the experts look good so they edit it out anyway so it's kind of pointless it's it's a lose-lose situation mm. anyway so yeah and I feel like when, when I watched I don't even I didn't have any intentions of watching much back at all because I look at it and I see myself and I go oh that's the character they made from my person because they only show a certain perspective, a certain music, this overall theme of who I was. There's very little in comparison to what really went down. Well, what part of the experiment was your least favourite, I guess? Watching it back and not being able to see that they showed the real narrative and, you know, the real us at all. It's pretty obvious, but what would you say is your favourite moment from the whole experience? Mine is talking to her the first time at the dinner table because it was like that feeling of excitement, like you're talking to this person that you like. Yeah, I think for me it was probably our day, our um, first day where we had it, like our kiss and stuff. Mm. It's probably the best for me. I think you guys touched on this at the reunion about regrets. Is there any regrets? I have no regrets. Yeah, me neither. I mean, it's like. Yeah, I don't have any regrets at all. It's uh, after all, it's television. It's not murder. It's not anything. Like it's really hard to dissociate that because your mind, because you're constantly getting so many messages and that. But it's like, yeah, I, mean, I should have done more if anything. Like, shit, it's just TV. Yeah. What was the worst editing fail as well? Did you notice anything super suspicious? When they um, refer to uh, the Bondi, something about the followers and going to Bondi and stuff. So the context of that, Dion really wanted to go to Bondi and I didn't want to go with him to Bondi. I didn't want to bump into a friend or some of that, you know, because at that point people, um, we were starting from lockdown still. So people would do a lot, you know, uh, go for walks. That's all that was to do. So he wanted to go to Bondi. I'm like, I don't want to bump into someone having to explain that I'm, I can't say that we're in a show and I don't want to, you know, people are like, oh, who's this? Well, how would we introduce you? Like a maid or like it's weird. So I didn't want to go to Bondi. And uh, he made this whole thing about, uh, oh, she thinks she she's famous and this and that. And I'm like, that's not what it was at all. So when they do, they show that conversation on the dinner table, um, I think it shows someone, I think it shows Dion saying she has, that many followers she thinks she's famous she doesn't want to go to bondi and then you hear me saying exactly and they took that exactly from a different conversation and then it just sounds like i'm agreeing to it and i'm like this is bs but at the same time it was funny i just laughed at it i'm like oh whatever but um but yeah you can even see that the tone, tone of voice from like that word exactly it, it was not 
it was not sad at that moment, but yeah, it was funny to watch anyway. So I forgot to ask as well, what was that meeting like with your son as well, Carolina? How did that go? Yeah, it was, um, we didn't plan. So it was kind of like a last minute. Uh, I can't even remember how it was, but it was kind of last minute. We were coming home and he was here and uh, and then just met. It was easy. My son, Bruno, he is, um, he's like a, He's almost 17 years old, so he's just, um, you know, just a mature boy and he understands that TV is just TV. And uh, and I think, like, a Daniel and him likes a lot of the same things as well. My son actually loves going to the gym. He goes to the gym uh, most days as well. And they're into, like, a, um, computer stuff and NFTs and all of that. So I think, like, they're into a lot of the same things. But, again, my son is 17 years old. He's never home as any teenager. He's in and out. He's got a girlfriend. He has his own shit going on so um it's not like I have a little toddler that we have to spend 24 7 you know caring for but uh but yeah it was it was easy they get along after all that said and done what's the biggest thing you would say you've learned from the whole experience mm. go for what you want because you know at the end of the day you pretty much you might end up finding love yeah. Yeah. Well, we already have, we both have personality types very much so like that, like going for what we want. So it kind of reaffirmed that idea. Yeah. Well, what's next for you two post maps? Only fans. <laughs> Shut up. Jokes. Um, no. Just keep it's living the dream. I actually believe it. You oh, well, I think that'd be the least of their freaking concerns at this point. <laughs> just, yeah, just keep chipping away. Like, you know, Keep building our relationship, get our social medias back, keep just building our social media platform. Like, again, I think we chatted about it a little bit, but people have to dissociate this idea that having a social media presence or having something that comes out from maths because of maths is a bad thing. Um, it's an opportunity to make money. Is money making a bad thing? 